Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and yes, today, the 29th of November 2022, is indeed my 50th birthday. I've had a very busy day. I was going to do a live stream tonight, but I didn't get back till much later in the evening. But I jumped on for a couple of quick games, and what a way to celebrate a birthday than with ear cracking. But I really did think this one was never going to happen. But let's have a look at what we've got. We're on hotspot. We've got a tier 4, tier 5 game. There's a few BBs. And lo and behold, we've got the OP Arc Royal on each team as the carrier. Just what I didn't want to see. I'm sick and tired of carriers in games. But there is a message at the bottom of the screen, because if you want to support the channel, you can donate via that PayPal me link. And I do receive all donations with a lot of gratitude, no matter how big or how small. We're on the push to 600 subscribers, but we can't get Super Chat for YouTube until we hit a thousand subs. So if it's your first time past here and you enjoy this video, please do hit that subscribe button hit the like button and leave me a comment as well wishing me a happy birthday and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. Now we've taken a pot shot at that Normandy. We probably led him a little bit too much and we only get 1100 hit points. But this Leander is not going to be so lucky and we're going to start the birthday game with a bang. There we go. Citadel, first blood, dev strike. He is gone. What's that? Um... A minute into the game <laughs> sorry Leander but uh, you put yourself in the wrong place now I see the Yahagi and I'm thinking he's quite broadside as well but he's also quite agile and uh, my turn means I don't get all my turrets off but we do get a cap reset he is taking some hits from elsewhere we're up to 30,000 damage and we've barely started the game here. But there's a Normandy, a California, the Ark Royals out there as well. And there's a Nuremberg tucked in behind the island. Now I did turn out there rather than traversing across that cap broadside, which would have been inviting people to introduce their armor piercing shells to my citadel. And Nuremberg thinks he is safe tucked into that little cubby hole at the back of the capture point. Yahagi's hidden behind an island. He knows we can't get him there. So we are going to try and chip away at Mr. Nuremberg here. And uh, that, that, little, that little nook there, that little cranny, is very good for getting a destroyer into to contest a cap because you're very difficult to see you're also very difficult to hit but a cruiser is a little bit bigger and we can just see enough of that ship to be landing some shells on them all we need is our carrier to keep them spotted marblehead is pushing through the center this is a little bit of a cheap kill because i've got shells in the air somebody else hits them at the same time but um, it's our shells that take the kill for kill number two so we're back at looking at the Nuremberg and the Normandy don't know where the Cali's got to at this moment in time but we're going to keep chipping away at this Nuremberg because he's trying to be a little bit of a nuisance in that little um, nook behind there so we ripple fire the shells across there I'm looking at the Yahagi he's still behind the mountain and I decide that I'm going to try and do what I can on this Nuremberg and push around the outside and try and get a flanking fire on that Yahagi. Because this is part of this game. It is about positioning, getting your ship to the best position to have the best effect against the enemy team. Nuremberg is still there. Again, I can't see him, but we can make an approximation on where he is and we're just going to keep rippling those shots off he drops out of sight we're up to 45 46 thousand damage i'm calling for intelligence data i want to know where that yahagi is i want to know where the nuremberg is i think he got a little bit tired of me landing shots on and he couldn't get shots on me so wait for the reload we ripple those shots again just in case he decides to back out and they are gonna, I think, finish him with this one. There we go. 
kill number three so three red team ships are gone and i've got all three and i'm feeling quite happy and i did pop up on the mic and i said hey guys i'm on three kills here there's six ships left in the game there's a good chance i can pick up a kraken but jeez i later in this game i thought i was being absolutely shafted by rng this ship most certainly isn't the fastest and it's going to take me a while to push around the outside of this capture point. What I'm expecting as I come around here, because I am spotted by planes, is for that Yahagi to potentially torpedo me or for the Normandy to come steaming around the outside and get a flank and fire on me. And I'm pretty much on my own here. But I do see that the ships at the south edge of this cap are starting to push in and contest. We are slightly ahead on points because uh, somebody's taken out another ship on red team. So we've lost three, they've lost four. It's looking like, you know, a quite decent game. But the ship down on Charlie Cap is being pursued by red team. And so we've got a little bit of a ring of roses going on here. Our carrier's tucked in at the back of the map. And I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to become the focus of attention for this carrier. Yahagi is it 7.2 kilometers, 7.3? Can't remember the range of his torpedoes. So I'm going to turn a little bit further out from that guy as I move to get my guns on. Um, just so that I'm not going to sail into a broadside of torpedoes. Normandy gets an absolute hammering with torpedoes. We get the Yahagi spotted. We can't get shots on yet. But as soon as I get spotted here, he's going to realize that his little hidey hole is not the best place to be right now. We clatter him with a pretty decent salvo, but he turns and angles. As he turns broadside to me, that's where the torpedo is coming. Before I get a chance to get a reload, somebody else takes the kill. The Normandy has got shots on me across the top. I fire salvo at him. He does appear to be ticking on either flood or fire damage. But we land the kill shot and the California is the next one that's going to have a go at me. Blue team are now moving on to... Is it B cap on this side? Yes, B cap. I'm looking at the California and he is going to be my focus because he's got some big guns. Now, I'm only going to get a salvo onto this Cali, but um, this island is going to block the way. I expect that the aircraft carrier is north of me as I'm pushing around. He's going to know that I'm coming. Red team have moved onto C cap. And there is the Ark Royal, the Wallet Warrior's friend, the OP POS that is just absolutely ruining tier 4, 5 and 6 gameplay. So much so that Wargaming pulled it from the store. There are people who will disagree with me that the Ark Royal is overpowered, but the fact that Wargaming have pulled it um, leads me to believe that they are in agreement. The California, I think, has decided that he doesn't want to be part of me because there are so many blue ships on this side now and they are pushing out against him. And it looks like he has turned away and is going to turn around and uh, head for some support with the battleship that is down there on sea cap. But it looks like he's taken a few more hits. I can't get onto him yet. And this is where RNG is going to start trolling me with the biggest troll that a troll can troll with. We get a salvo across the top. We've got quite a decent reload on this of just over 20 seconds. We're going to land some hits there. We're going to pick up a little bit more damage, but he is right on the limit of range. And I think most battleships these days are using the concealment mod, which increases the dispersion of incoming fire. And at this kind of range, it's very difficult to land a full salvo on. But we see him coming into a turn. We get another salvo offered him there. All the while, we're stealing in the direction 
of that Ark Royal who gets spotted. But I want this Kali off the map. I want a Kraken. We're up to 76,000 damage, four kills. And I'm thinking, this is the one. This is Kraken number 110. Just as our guns are about to reload, we get the shots off again. The shells fly in. And I'm saying on the mic, let me take this kill for a Kraken, please. And the shells start to drop and leave him with a sliver of health. Now, the majority of blue team ships, I think, realize that I'm on for a Kraken here because there doesn't appear to be a lot of shots going in on him. But our Ark Royal decides that he is going to send in a squadron of planes. And just as I pull the trigger on that salvo, he drops in his absolute storm of bombs for probably what was around 200 hit points. That leaves the Ark Royal as the last ship in the game. Given that this is a Kraken game, you know that this guy is going to die. But watch this shot. Because this is beautiful. He disappears. The shells are in the air. He's not going to get spotted again. But they land beautifully. And give us the Kraken kill. So that is it. 88,746 88, damage. Kraken high caliber. Sorry, not high caliber. Dev Strike first blood. Not a huge base XP game at 2282. But I hope you've enjoyed that one. I certainly do love doing these videos for you. And if you've enjoyed that one, do hang around and click on one of these links. Don't forget, if you do want to give me a birthday present or support the channel, go back, have a look at that PayPal link and drop a little something in the pot. Until next time, take care and goodbye.